Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our July live CTR coding break. My name is Carrie Vita, and I have the privilege of working directly with Melissa Chapman, who is our presenter today. Melissa is one of our quality consultants for industry partners, and she is a frequent presenter at local, state, and national conferences. Melissa's topic for today is the 2023 Melanoma Surgical Coding. I'll hand it off to you, Melissa. Thank you, Carrie. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my camera. So yes, today's topic is the 2023 melanoma surgery codes. The objectives for today's presentation are to review the new surgery coding fields that were implemented for 2023, review the major changes to the melanoma surgery codes in the new SSDI clinical margin width, Briefly, briefly review the new edition of Appendix M in the 2023 store manual. And finally, we'll go over how to apply these surgery codes with a couple of case examples. For 2018 to 2022 diagnosis years, the surgery code was entered in the surgical procedure of primary site and surgical procedure of primary site at this facility. For January 1st, 2023 and forward, the surgery field is now RX Hosp Surge 2023, which is hospital surgery, and RX Sum Surge 2023, which is the summary surgery. The 2018 to 2022 codes were numeric two-digit codes that are still used for those diagnosis years. The new codes for 2023 diagnosis years are alphanumeric and are four digits. For melanoma of the skin, the new surgery codes begin with a B, while all other codes begin with an A to account for the major change in coding. These new surgery codes were made to align with the new synoptic operative reports per store. There are a few changes to remember about coding the new surgery codes for 2023, aside from the melanoma surgery codes beginning with a B and being alphanumeric. Margins are not a factor in assigning the surgery code, so do not use the margins to determine the surgery code as we previously did in cases for 2018 to 2022. Code the procedure, not the results of the procedure. So for example, code the wide local excision even if there's no residual cancer on wide local excision, and the procedure still needs to be captured. A shave, punch, or elliptical biopsy is coded to the surgical procedure regardless of the margin status. Only code to diagnostic and staging procedure when a small specimen is taken from the tumor. And clinical margins are now collected under a new SSDI clinical margin width. There's a priority order for assigning surgery codes. First, the operative report should tell you what kind of procedure is going on, then a physician statement of the procedure performed, and then the description of the surgical procedure from the PATH report, and finally the PATH report's results when nothing else is available. Here's an example of the new surgery codes, B200 to 240. Codes replaced the 27 code for excisional biopsy, which was generally used for the biopsy surgery performed first in those pre-2023 cases. Now you can specify if you've done a shave, punch, elliptical, or not otherwise specified biopsy. While the B500 to 540 codes replaced the biopsy followed by wide local excision, which were formerly the 30 to 33 code, and we no longer have the separate wide local excision of 45 to 47 codes, which we previously based on margins. So here's the new SSDI for the clinical margin width, and it requires us to code from the op report or the physician's documentation, not from the PATH report, with a priority order of operative report followed by a physician statement of the procedure. If the multiple procedures were performed, then record the largest peripheral radial margin. You would not record the deepest margin. 
you'd record from the wide local excision only, and margins should never be added together. This is entered in decimal format, so if it's stated to be two and a half centimeters, then we would enter 2.5 in this field. Instructions begin on page 407 and are followed by case studies similar to the ones that were used in seeing the CTR guide to coding radiation. This provides case coding examples such as shave biopsy followed by wide local excision, punch biopsy followed by wide local excision, core biopsy followed by wide local excision, and sentinel lymph node biopsy, or a Mohs procedure with a wide local excision and sentinel lymph node biopsy. So there's lots of different examples that you can review and just make sure that you are reviewing all of the rationale at the very end. That is the coding logic section. As the pro examples provide the clinical workup for the case, the procedures and the operative reports, the pathology reports, and then some pretty uh, specific coding logic for why we put those codes in there. It's easy to read and understand, and it's in the same format as that CTR guide decoding radiation, so you don't really have to learn a new document or a new format. And the, it's conveniently placed in the store manual, which makes it even easier instead of having to pick up a new manual. And the link to this store manual is actually on this current slide. So here we have a case scenario. We have a 62-year-old female with abnormal nevus in the skin of the left calf, and it's approximately 2.1 by 1.9 centimeters. The operative report from the dermatology office says on the left calf, there's a punch biopsy in the skin of the left calf. The reporting facility on 125.23 does a wide local excision with one centimeter elliptical margins around the biopsy site in the left inguinal sentinel lymph node biopsy. The pathology report from the punch biopsy shows melanoma, superficial spreading type, ulceration present, Breslow 1.8 millimeters, two mitoses per a high power field, Clark 5, and peripheral margins were positive. On 125.23, the wide local, wide local excision shows no residual melanoma in their sentinel lymph node biopsy with three positive nodes out of four with four metastatic melanoma. So the data fields that we were talking about in this uh, coding break, we have an RX HOSP Hos surge 2023 that would be coded to be 53 or 530. The wide local excision it following a punch biopsy per the op text. And this is a procedure that was done at the reporting facility. So we would code that. The RX sum surgery 2023, that summary of the most extensive surgery, that would be coded also to be 530 as the wide local excision following the punch biopsy per the op text and being that it removes all the remainder of the cancer or there's none residual, then we would code that as the most extensive. The SSDI clinical margin width would be 1.0 because per the operative text, they did a one centimeter elliptical margin and per the instructions we code from the operative text. So for our second case scenario, we have a 48-year-old male with abnormal nevus in the skin of the right forearm with approximately a 2.1 by 1.9 centimeter uh, lesion with no evidence of satellite lesions or palpable lymph nodes. The operative report text shows that there is a skin of the right forearm elliptical biopsy. There's two by three, um, looks like margins around the lesion. And then on 125.23 and at the non-reporting facility, we have a wide local excision performed with 1.5 ellipt centimeter elliptical margins and a right axillary sentinel lymph node biopsy. The pathology from the elliptical biopsy on 1.1.2023 shows melanoma lentigo maligna, no ulceration, 
with Breslo of 0.5 millimeters and one mitosis per high power field and margin was microscopically positive. On 125, 2023, that wide local excision not performed at the reporting facility showed residual melanoma and lentigo malignant type with a Breslow of 0.7 millimeters. Margins were negative and the deep margins were stated to be 2.3 centimeters with sentinel lymph nodes of zero out of two, saying there's no metastatic melanoma. So we're gonna look at the same fields we have the RX HOSP surgery, which is the most extensive procedure done at the reporting facility. And in this case, the most extensive procedure was the elliptical biopsy per the operative text, which was B240. The RX SUM surgery, the most extensive surgery done anywhere, would be five, B540 for that wide local excision following an elliptical biopsy per the operative text. And this is completed not at the reporting facility, but it is documented. The SSDI clinical margin width would be coded to 1.5. Per the operative for text, the 1.5 centimeter elliptical margins are taken from the wide local excision only. So we're, we would record this in the same decimal form of 1.5 and ignore the pathologist documentation of margins. And that's it for today. I guess I could open up uh, for questions if anybody has any questions.